Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So this morning I was talking to a client, he's got his 76 year old dad in ICU after pneumonia that developed into ARDS or ARDS, which is also known as lung failure. Now the client has been in intensive care since the 10th of January at the time of the recording of this video, which is the 3rd of February. Um, he has been ventilated with a breathing tube um, and his sedation came off about a week ago and he has no signs of waking up. His Glasgow coma scale varies between a 3 and a 6. Um, he's not opening eyes uh, continuously or spontaneously, he's not there yet. But the intensive care team has done an MRI scan of the brain, they've done a CT scan of the brain, they've done an EEG and clearly brain function is there. Now the client is asking should they give consent to a tracheostomy and my answer to this is a clear yes because the brain is intact and you know from experience I can tell you most patients in intensive care after a prolonged induced coma do wake up especially if they've been heavily sedated which was the case in his dad's situation. He's also in kidney failure, he's on dialysis which means kidneys take a longer time to excrete any sedative so there's still sedatives and opiates floating around in the body and it often takes longer to get rid of them which delays the waking up process otherwise he is fairly stable he's not on any inotropes or vasopressors um, he's in a regular heart rhythm so there's no other major organs going off besides the brain not functioning at the moment um, and besides the kidneys not functioning and obviously he's still on a ventilator but he's now breathing spontaneously and he's you know on breathing on CPAP and on pressure support with good blood gases so you know there's definitely hope that his dad can wake up and if he doesn't wake up you know he will still talk about comfort care so that is my quick tip for today when to do a tracheostomy should you give consent if you think you're at crossroads uh, if you have a loved one in intensive care go to intensivecarehotline.com Call us on one of the numbers on the top of the website or send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Like this video, comment below what you want to see next, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the notification bell and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care, this is Patrick Hansel from intensivecarehotline.com.